Welcome everybody to the peeps. Well, welcome to welcome fuck. Welcome back to the peeps. Um I am on my own. I know so this is a sad time. But here, today we're making music and I'm going to teach you all the basics and how I actually make my music. You can make your own using a, a really really tr cheap <laughs> You can use the trial version of this program which I'm using called FL Studio 20. I know, it's bad, isn't it? Anyways, we're gonna go for the very basics. So we're gonna go over to these buttons over here. This bit, this button represents the pattern grid. So you can put down patterns in here. These patterns represent the piano roll. We basically place down notes. Basically kick there. This little scroll wheel up here basically goes to different instruments. Put a clap there, hat. Then you got a snare drum. Which doesn't sound good because it's like an 808 pack. Not even an 808 pack, I think it's like a standard basic kit that you always get assigned. But hey, don't blame me, blame FL. This one up here goes through the um, channel rack where you can explain different, you know, goes through different, you know. Instruments, different VSTs, which are like digital instruments. Well, I've got a few of them over here. Most of them are stock plugins, except for the, except for the ones I'll highlight. Yep, editing running, get to do your magic, please. See, so, yeah, I'm going to be um teaching you the basics of each individual one. Um, you can also select from the folders over here, go to packs, and you see a bunch of instruments over here. You don't need to really packs over. Got drums, instru flex instruments, legacy loops, risers, sample packs. That's all what I use sample packs for, or like 8 bit kits and 808, um, like trap beats and all that stuff. You know, I don't really know. Sound effects, you know, reverses and all that stuff. Shapes, don't even know what they are. Vocals, you know, just, <clears throat> you know, just vocals. Instruments, yeah, you got standard you know, bass, bass guitars. Regular guitars, keyboards, go from Rhodes to the electric ones to the you know, stage grand. I personally like both the gra grand piano and the stage grand. Depends on what song you're going for. If you're going for like a really sad one, you go for a stage grand. If you're going for like a really upbeat one, use a grand piano. Roads don't really matter. If I was going for a lo-fi track, I would use um, the jazz guitar for the main lead. And if I was to use pianos, I would use an electric one. The drums, you got everything, you got kits, cymbals, hi-hats, kicks, percussion, you know, cowbells, yep, cowbell, my friends are hating me right now because, um, cow they hate cowbells, if you go to legacy, however, you got the drums, you get kits over it, this, 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 so this is the dance kit, obviously, because you got the kick, find it here, So if I was to click this over here and press Q on my keyboard, that's the notes. The way I do that is I click this button over here. So if I, if I press Q, it won't, it won't do anything. If I press Q, yeah, it's doing something. So this, that's the kick. The snare is this one. Yep. Clap is this one. And the hi-hat is this one. I also have made a really cool thing as a reverse kick, which I could use for like build ups. Uh, that would be going to Leon. I'm not nerding out, and everyone doesn't like that. It's good instruments, uh, it's basically sampled down to more, but these are all samples, which everyone hates. Yeah, you see why I hate samples, except if they are like, except for the. When they're picked, when you pick them out yourself, because the the stock sample packs are really bad. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to make a simple chord progression. You know, um, so what I'll do is I go to instruments, keyboard, stage grand. You can hover over here, change it to anyone else. So, uh, so the funny thing is, you can actually play around with your actual keyboard, not the um. Like a piano keyboard, like your actual typing keyboard, to fit the notes. So it's a 
it just, you know. You can do anything, but I'll teach you how to make a simple melody, which I've been used. It's just... These chords right here are power chords, so they're like legit just each individual octave. An octave is like 12 notes apart from each other, which is basically C4 and C5, you know, just... Same note, just different pitch. Well, that doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, same note, different pitch. Then you got the one in between, which is basically one, two, three, four five notes before the highest one. So I'm gonna copy and paste, copy this if I can, so copy... If you hold shift you can select more things at once, it's like having your own little file thing. So it's like an empowering feel. So with that, and if I turn the tempo down, this is the tempo you manage it up here with the um, so the play button like song goes for the goes for the pattern roll over here. Pattern is your piano roll which you've got open, which is labeled pattern one. Which if you go back to here, it will be labeled over here. That's pretty much the simple thing. I feel like I should increase the octave of this. So you can change the velocity so is the how hard the note hits so if I up the velocity for these notes If I short these notes to a frequency of one, to give it that little, um, the little you know, feel. So it's this. That little sudden stop, I like that, but you know, we can go far beyond. So this is the stage grand piano, which is basically what I said earlier about the being one of the best ones. But I think it's time we mess around with a loop. So thankfully I have some saved over here. So I've got one saved randomly over here. This is for free by the way. Which I got off the internet. Which I I wanted to work on this loop for a while anyways. But I, so make sure when you do this you hit it on the downbeat. So it's it's easy to like loop. But it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be at this point. So it's just, you just, you know, song. This pack alone can split it in half because this, if I separate here, this is separate, this is different to this. If you just extend them, this is way different. So if you just listen to these real quick. So what this red bit does, it loops the it loops what. So if it's I can't really explain this. It's like a looping thing. So if you loop like you have to right click on this little bit here, and you have to hold right click and drag to where you want to loop it, and it loops from 
this point to this point and it goes all the way back to the start where you want this it let's just say if i wanted to loop it from nine from the ninth bar to the 17th it'll be like this See that loops. Right, to do this, and if you want to zoom in and out really carefully, hold right click on this bit here. It's like a scrolling mechanism for horizontal verticals over here. It's hard to see, but you know. This bit over here changes the th the um the height of the um pattern stuff, pattern stuff over here. For me, I keep as the default one, which is, you know, just standard. So if I was to change this back to a size of 100. So I pack size 100. This is slightly smaller, so I'll increase it by a bit. This is what it would originally look like. So yeah, that's basically the looping stuff out of the way. But I am working with loops now. I'm going to try and work on something. I'll try and make this a little whimsical little track. I, I could be wrong in doing this. Because it's my first whimsical track and I don't know exactly what instruments to use. I could go for like a heavy based fucking thing, but you know, knowing me, uh, that will go wrong. So I've got a bunch of different, um, you know, instruments I could use for different things, but you know. So what this is at the top over here, it just loads, it just loads. The cool thing about this, if you're using like, like a kit pack, like a kit pack for um, drums like this, well, I use um, like the HQ because pack. I think it's an FP an FPC plugin. I cannot, don't know the actual term for this plugin exactly. But once you go to the piano roll, it's labeled kick one, kick two, snare. I think what I'll do for this one. Is I go through the basics first, I'm just doing drum, snare, drum, snare. And like loop that so it fits. This isn't on the down beat, so it won't work as well. What I like to do now is add the hi hats. If I go back to here, if I go back to HQ Jazz Kit, Jazz Kit. So one, two. I don't know if I want to do it in thirds. But if you do it, you just do it in thirds like here. I can't really exactly remember the time signature for these because it's fucking long. It's this, okay. What I can do is I do this, I select all these tracks, hold shift and left click to duplicate everything like that. And you just move it. And when you do move it, make sure you forget to un, you know, unselect, unhold the shift button. Otherwise, let's say if this happens, you shift, that will happen, it will duplicate the same thing, so. Make sure, whenever you're doing that, do not. Make sure you just, um, make sure your fingers off of the, the shift key button. I'll see if that this works. There you go. I don't like this little technique a bit. There you go.
go back to cell, which means it just drag along with like this. I'll see how it sounds for uh, this segment over here. I don't know how that will sound all together, but... Flag it! Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should add, um... Okay, we're gonna go to the nitty gritty stuff over here with the mixing desk. So you know how you adjust your volumes over here, you know, just you can reset them, you can pan them left and right. What panning does, if it goes to the left... If you're wearing headphones, it'll go to your left headphone left um, side of your headphone, it goes to your right side of your headphone, if it goes to the right, it's self-explanatory. But if you go over here, you see slot one, slot 1 to 10, this is your um, effects. You have to hover over effects and um, you got a bunch of different stuff, you got controllers, reverbs, distortion, dynamics, filters, flanges, I can't do I used to do that, I'm a music tech student so I should know, there's gain, miscellaneous, New new ones. I, I, I can't I can't read that actually. Patches and visual basically just you know spectrograms and all that shit. But what I'm going to do is add a uh, love filter, free love filter in the filter section because this will. So way I work this is I do it up like this, do a triple band, and then I'll just see how that goes, and I'll just silence everything. But you know the drums, which I can right click on this button. To do that. So you can see how everything's everything here is not being played except for the drums because the, the green light here shows what's being played. So if I left all that on. So you know, it's fine. So with this you got the filter section, which you got the low, low frequencies, high frequencies, and you got the the, the middle. So yeah, um, that's kind of that. So what we can do is with this effect, with the cut here, and I got a triple band filter on. Basically means the the, the it's the better filter for the drums, I believe, because I tested everything out, and this seems to be the better one. So what I do is cut it a bit, and if you can listen now. That's basically how I do my filters and stuff like that. It's basically how I just, I use my ears to, you know, define what noise I want it to make. So how would that sound with this? Who knows? I'm not too fond of this bit though, so I'll just, you know, hold shift and just, you know, drag that along to duplicate stuff, because, yeah. I mean, there's an obvious way of what you could do is you could just click it and then click over it, but it's more fun and more, and more, it's more fun, but less easy to do. So yeah, that's basically the entire breakdown on how I make music. Kind of, you can just implement anything, but... The main thing you want to do is practice. It, practice makes perfect because not everyone's going to be like perfect instantly. It took time for me. So, you know, don't worry. Once you delete all of these, they'll be saved because patterns can be saved. So can audio files over here. So they so got the p patterns over here, audio files and automation clips. Those are like... Let's just say if you was to, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So if you right click and go automation, and we'll just, you know. So this is for 
insert one, which is this track over here on the mixer. See what it did there? So basically if I lifted this a bit, it moves the fader. And if I was to play that, see how that's moving up? That's what the, um, that's what this does. So yeah, that's basically it for making music. It's it's really fun if you get into it. It's it's the it's one of the main hobbies I have. It's, it's also the software I use to make uh, the teasers. You know, you know the two teasers I posted about the Peeps game. I use this, which um, I can insert one, and this would be where my microphone is. I need to turn the um, effects off. I can do that with the green button over here. I'll just turn that down. Now my microphone's in it. Look. Ah uh, yeah 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 yeah. See, so yeah, I double laying it. If I was to if I was to turn my mic off in OBS, now you can hear me. Hear me. Now you can hear me from here. I have to take this out because it's literally confusing and distracting to hear you here and then it delay in your headphones. That's why I'm taking my um he headphones off. So what you could do is with the effects over here, go delete this. Make sure you just you know up here. We could do is add a noise gate, which all which everyone does when they're having a microphone issue. Issue, so I go to a fruity limiter. So what you do, you go to presets because there's already some stuff pre-made. Go to noise gate, and the noise has been reducted. There you go. Back to OBS. Jesus Christ. Anyway, that's basically it for like microphone setting up. As well, if you wanted to set up microphones. You can literally go to this little option here, go to in, go, if you're using FL Studio ASIO, which is like a, you know, a microphone thing, I can't remember what it was, but I, I installed it, luckily I did, so I can input my microphone in it. So I can legit use effects on my microphone as well, so free limiter, I use for noise gates. And then if I was to record, I go to slot 2, go to Edison in the miscellaneous section. Press record, and this will record my audio. And this got like a recording mechanism. I stop here, and this little arrow bit over it drags the file into the piano roll section, and now you can hear it. Press record, and this will record my audio. Pretty simple. It's it's also the best thing in the world. And if you want to assign this to a track and add thingies, you'll go to this little menu over here. If you just the how I did that is I double click the the pattern or the audio file that was just inserted. So I'll go to um see this bit track over here, this will assign a track, so you have to scroll or you can literally just you know hold hold left click and scroll up and down. Personally I just scroll, it's more efficient. And what I'd like to do is I'll if I was to make Invidatine's voice, I would go to mode in this in this thing, go to stretch, set the pitch range to twelve. Actually, I'll set the pitch range to about six. Boot it down. Let's record. That's a bit too low. So I'll just go back down to mid. Do it to three. Let's record. And then what I'll do is I turn this down, turn the fader down. Reason being is I'm going to distort the shit out of it. Let's record. Yep, you see how that, that didn't work. So now what I want to do is I add a radio effect, which is I go to Fruity Parametric EQ2 underneath filter. This can be scary for some people because they don't know how to equalize stuff. So luckily FL Studio has presets like this. So you go to radio. Let's record. And this will record my audio. And this is like a recording mechanism. See, Invidatine's voice has been made. You know, I, I love making music. It's fucking fun. You can make remixes out of this. You can make original music. You can do vocal covers, drum covers, actually, which I'm actually planning on doing on my own channel. But again, I'm taking a break from that because I've already said that on my channel, which if you want to know why, there is a there is a live stream recently on my channel. If you want to go into the description and find my channel link, go on there, check out that live stream know why I'm not uploading anymore on that channel. 
mean, I'll give you a short summary. I was fed up of recording on that. I was fed up of editing out like racial slurs and all that stuff. So editing for the peeps, I don't get any of that. It's a free open opportunity for me. And plus, I love editing for this channel. It's, it's fucking fun. Anyways, that's kind of like a beginner's guide on how to use FL Studio. So, like, subscribe, all that stuff. I know this wasn't really a typical peeps video, but hey, I'm trying to get some stuff ready for like, I'm trying to get some stuff ready in terms of the peeps law stuff. So I want to get this video whacked out and show you how I make, you know, the audio effects behind it all and all that stuff. The, the graphics are, are just simple. I just make them in like Fire Alpaca, which is like a free, it's a free audio, no, not audio, it's a free art program which I use. Thank you, Kami, for showing me that. Anyway, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you subscribe to all of our individual channels. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, actually, yes, yeah, subscribe to everyone on Twitch if that's a thing. Follow and then subscribe if you have the, the money. Anyway, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and we will see you all in a bit. The reason I say we is because it's a group channel, not my own channel, and I know we get confused. Anyway, bye. Yeah.